Microcarriers in the form of dry beads are first hydrated and washed thoroughly. Suspend and resuspend the microcarrier in phosphate buffer saline before autoclaving. Microcarrier stock suspension at a concentration of 10 grams per liter in one liter or 500 milliliter bottles is convenient to use. These microcarrier stock suspensions can be autoclaved at 121 degrees for 20 minutes. Since microcarrier beads are suspended in PBS, they are usually rinsed with tissue culture medium to displace PBS before use. Otherwise, the PBS carried over by the microcarrier can dilute the cell culture medium appreciably. For small quantities, the washing can be done in disposable centrifuge tubes. Microcarrier beads settle to the bottom of the centrifuge tube quickly, or centrifugation can be used. In general, the microcarrier suspension can be centrifuged at about 500 RPM. As soon as the centrifuge reaches the peak speed, it can be turned off. The supernatant is then sucked off. In our experience, when sucking off the supernatant using a pipette, it is always easier to suck from the side of the centrifuge tube so that a minimum amount of microcarriers is sucked off. After filling the centrifuge tube gently with medium, you may recap the centrifuge tube and invert the tube to suspend beads. In any case, avoid the formation of any foam in these manipulations. Depending on the quantity of the beads, washing with medium once or twice is sufficient. After the last washing step, growth medium is used to suspend the microcarriers. The washed beads can now be poured into the spinner bottle. When pouring in the medium, it is easier to tilt this spinner flask so that the beads don't settle on the sidearm. Growth medium is then added to the spinner flask to the desired volume, but leave enough volume for the inoculation of cells later. The entire flask is then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius in an appropriate carbon dioxide environment. This step is important to allow the temperature and pH to equilibrate before the inoculation. 